guys. I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. You know, with a lot of T-Mobile high-end smartphones on the carrier, it can be tough to choose which one to go with. You have the G2, the MyTouch 4G, the recently released Nexus S, uh, the HD7, a lot of high-end smartphones within the past three months. How do you decide? You look at our dog fights. That's what you do. Google Nexus S, T-Mobile G2, two high-end devices. This one was released yesterday, December 16th. This one was released a couple of months ago. Both are great devices. This one's HSPA Plus capable. This one's not HSPA Plus capable, but it's a Google Experience device, so you get Android 2.3 or Gingerbread. Which one's the best? Which one has the best feature set? Which one's the most awesome, awesomest, whatever? We'll find out in the dogfight. First, special thanks to our friends at Best Buy Mobile for hooking us up with two of these. Two of these, total of four, for use on one pop band to give away, because really, we like to give you stuff. Best Buy Mobile, they provide us with phones so we can give away good stuff to you in our contest. One thing I like about Best Buy Mobile, you walk in to buy these devices, which this one's only available at Best Buy Mobile anyway. You walk in to buy the devices and you don't have to worry about mail-in rebates. You walk out paying the after rebate price. Don't deal with messy paperwork waiting eight to ten weeks. Come on, this is the holidays. We're all stressed out. The less paperwork, the better. And it's at Best Buy Mobile. Enough of that. Let's get into the dogfight. Google Nexus S, T-Mobile G2. Let's get it started. So let's take a look at the Android market. You know, it hasn't actually updated uh, on the Nexus S yet. You can see that it's still in the Android, uh, the typical, the old Android market. But on the G2, it has. And this is what's rolling out across the board. So ironically, the newer device hasn't gotten it yet, but the uh, but the older one has. So we're going to ignore you, Nexus S. We're going to ignore you. And uh, so you can see it here. And uh, here's what it looks like. You know, minor color revision, not a huge deal by any means. But you can scroll through the apps here. And you can go back and select apps, games, or T-Mobile. And uh, in the search, so again, you know, not not major, but something to point out. Now, one of the you know most major changes between 2.2 and 2.3, if you can even call it a major change, uh, is the phone application. You can see that it's slightly different up here. You can see that they're island keys, and you can see that they're still island keys on Android 2.3, but there are no physical buttons. There's the uh, the typical lines below. So. Here's what it looks like on all the older devices that you remember. A little bit of a change. I like the back, the black backdrop is a nice touch. And the colors, again, because it's a super AMOLED display, very vibrant. There, you have your typical call log, contacts, and favorites in both of these devices. So that's a nice touch. And, uh, you know, not a huge change from Android variants of the past. Now, that said, let's take a look at Quadrant Standard for both of these devices. It's the ultimate test to see which one is the winner. Force close. Okay, that's not good. Quadrant standard. We're going to run the full benchmark on this. Which one will take the cake? Run full benchmark, run full benchmark. Now, I should warn you, for whatever reason, Quadrant uh, standard hasn't been running well on the Nexus S. I don't know if it's compatibility issues with Android 2.3 or what it is, but you know, it hasn't been working well in my test, so we may have to restart it again on the Nexus S. Now, that said, you know, call quality on both of these devices has been very good. I've been very pleased with, uh, with call quality on both of these. The earpiece, surprisingly, is very loud on both of these, just like the Galaxy S line. The uh, Nexus S is fantastic. And the G2, surprisingly good as well. I had to turn down the call quality on both of these, actually. So, you know, it was a, uh, it was a good touch there. Speakerphone, great as well. Took both of these to a T-Mobile dead spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Both of these to a T-Mobile dead spot, and I think I'm getting sick. So, anyway. Uh, both of these to T-Mobile dead spot, finally, and uh, was very pleased with both. Uh, you know, it did, both were very choppy. The T-Mobile G2, there was a period where I thought I was going to drop the call, but I actually didn't, so that was a, uh, that was a good thing. 1435 on the, uh, on the G2. Let's run the full benchmark again on Quadrant Standard on the Nexus S and see what we come so up with. So I finally ran on the Nexus S, and the score is 1700. So 1700 to 1435 on the G2. The Nexus S wins the cake there. Let's take a look at the speed test as well because no dogfight would be complete without a speed test. Particularly interesting one here because this is an HSPA device. This is an HSPA Plus device. So this runs T-Mobile's 4G uh, or without the quotes, 4G if that's what you, uh, what you think it is. It's, uh, it's running 4G. This is running T-Mobile's 3G. You know, it's interesting because I've actually gotten some incredible scores with the uh, Nexus S. So it'll be interesting to see which one takes the cake. We'll wait for this to load up. We'll begin the test. Bam, bam. Both loading in Charlotte. Let's let it happen. We'll see here which one wins the prize. So again, right around the same place, which is funny because again, I, you know, I'm at a cell site. There's a cell site right, right outside of my window. HSPA Plus enabled uh, cell site. So I mean, it's you know right here in an HSPA Plus area. 
2,955 kilobits per second to HSP plus 2,208 kilobits per second. So the Nexus S wins there. Upload speeds both pretty low and disappointing. Let's test it again just to get an idea, make sure it wasn't a fluke test. Uh, you know, that said, it's past rush hour time, so can't really blame it on too much uh, network traffic. So we'll take a look here. 2,063 kilobits per second on the Nexus S, 1,562 kilobits per second on the G2. And then uh, on the upload, 214 kilobits per second on the Nexus S, 232 on the G2. So the G2 is winning on the upload, Nexus S is winning on the download. Have to give it to the Nexus S because given that this is a non-HSPA Plus device, those are pretty, pretty good speeds. Very impressed there. You know, just looking at the build quality, it's going to be a love or hate thing with the Nexus S before I jump to the end. Because you look at this and it's very much like the Galaxy S line. It's very plasticky and it's very sturdy. Don't get me wrong. There's no creaking. There's no issue with the build. But it's very plastic and it's kind of ho-hum, if you will. If you see this come out of somebody's pocket, it doesn't really stand out. I mean, it's not that exciting in comparison to other devices on the market. I mean, you know, say what you will about the Apple iPhone, but at least the design is fantastic. I mean, it's made with premium me premium materials, you know, very glass, metal, I almost said very solid glass, and I was like, they're going to see the crack and make bad comments in the YouTube video. But you can see, you know, even the HTC metal accents here, metal accents on the front, it's built very well. So it's, a, you know, it's a trade-off. Do you want the plastic or do you want the metal? You know, so it's a, when it comes to build, it's going to be a personal thing. Now, battery life has been pretty decent on both of these, even though this is 1500 milliamp, this is 1300, you know. I've made it about a day, day and a half with the Nexus S with really moderate use. With moderate use on the uh, G2, I've made it about a day, a day and a fourth. So uh, something to keep in mind there. Much more coverage to come on both of these devices on PhoneDog.com. You know, if I had to award it to one, I'd award it to the Nexus S. I think, you know, feature-wise, it's the, <clears throat> excuse me, feature-wise, it's one of the best devices on the market, you know, it may not be as, ahead, as far ahead as the Nexus One was when it launched. In fact, it's not as far ahead, but it's a fantastic device. Much more coverage to come on both of these devices on PhoneDog.com. You know, if I had to award it to one, I'd give a slight edge to the Nexus S. Not just because it's newer, but for me, it's a hardware or a software thing rather. It's running Android 2.3 as opposed to Android 2.2. Given that this is a relatively stock device, it should get it pretty quickly. But uh, the combination of software and the fact that uh, the processor and some of the internals are very good on this device makes me lean to the Nexus S. Is it as far ahead as when the Nexus One came out? Absolutely not, but it's definitely a contender. It's a good high-end device, and as long as you're not a first-time uh, Android buyer, I think you'd be pleased with the Nexus S. You know, I've always said that uh, stock Google, which actually is what comes on both of these devices, but stock Google is still rough around the edges, uh, or stock Android, is still rough around the edges, and, uh, you know, since Moto Blur, TouchWiz, things of that nature may be better for a first-time buyer. That said, you know, both of these are great devices. If you want the metal build quality and the keyboard, G2 is where it's at. You want the, uh, the Android 2.3, the curved display, and all the other cool stuff that comes with the Nexus S. The Nexus S is your, uh, is your device. You want a front-facing camera. You want a video chat. That's the way to go. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com with both of these devices. Be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're giving away 100 tablets, up to 100 tablets, if you like us and fill out the sweepstakes forms. That's pretty cool. The chances are good. Head over to the Facebook page to check it out, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Follow me on Twitter as well, PhoneDog underscore Aaron. Ask me questions about these devices. Do you think the G2, best device in the entire world, or the Nexus S, absolutely the best in the entire universe? Let me know, phone dog underscore Aaron. Thanks for watching. Much more coverage to come, so keep it locked on phonedog.com. We'll see you next time.